Happy Halloween. Yeah, that's right. My first Halloween special. I was trying to do one of these last year, but I ran into some technical issues. So we are trying again this year. And it just so happens that I am playing Demon's Crest on the Super Nintendo. Now, what can I say about Demon's Crest? Well, it is definitely one of the games that was a part of the Ghosts and Goblins franchise. Just like some other game I know. Ah, yes. Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Now, is this one gonna be just as terrible? Actually, I can promise you it's not. It's actually a great fun game. Um, I remember playing this game growing up, having such a blast with it, and I'm gonna show you why here right now. Starts off with this screen with the Capcom copyright stuff, and of course the Capcom logo just like in some of the Mega Man games. Ooh, got some burning ash coming. Ooh, doesn't that look toasty? Oh, what we got here? Wow, isn't that cool or, or what? You got this shadow of a figure that starts turning into this flying gargoyle looking thing. And that becomes Demon's Crest! I'll let you watch this and read a little bit of the backstory. The legend says the world was once divided into two different lands. Yep, two different lands. One realm was ruled by the humans. And the other was ruled by the demons. One day, six magical stones fell from the sky into the demon's realm. Inscribed on the stones were the crests of fire, earth, air, water, time, and heaven. Soon, the demons began to fight over these magical stones. Crests and the realm erupted into civil war. Ooh, now we get into some dark details. Finally, the red demon defeated all the other, all the others, yeah, and collected five crests. Not satisfied with the crests of fire, earth, air, water, and time, the red demon challenged the demon dragon for the crest of heaven. After a long and desperate battle, the red demon slayed the dragon and gained the final crest. But the price of victory was high. The red demon was critically wounded.
But apparently not wounded enough according to this guy who just shot him behind him. Then we got this spooky music playing as the dialogue comes up. I have defeated the red demon. <laughs> I shall reign supreme. With the power of the crest. Both the demon world and the human world are mine. And that, in turn, is where we begin our game. From the menu, you have the option where you can go to the options menu, or you could do, or you could just start the game, or if you want to continue, this has a incredible password system, but it, like any other password system of this time, it was incredibly long. So our game begins with him coming to, and you, know, that, you have that fire breathing pain in the neck, about to walk out of there. Well, bruh, you gotta brush your teeth, man. I mean, I'm just saying, uh, you do know they make Tic Tacs, right? Oh, lame, come on. Yeah, no joke. He's literally that easy. All you do is just jump and breathe fire on him. That's it. Alright, and then you fly to him and just shower him with a bunch of flames. His neck disintegrates, head falls off, and you get another piece of life called Vitality. Yep, that's what those little pink dots in the corner represent. They represent your Vitality. I've heard of life bars, I've heard of hearts from Zelda, but pink dots? Really? Your first stage right here, you just uh, battle a never-ending barge of zombies that just kind of fall from the sky. I do have to ask one legitimate question. What are sprites that look like the KKK doing in a video game? Make more sense to you? Don't to me. Yeah, that's your first boss, by the way. It's a statue. And no, it's not that easy. <laughs> I mean, it's a statue, but it's a statue that turns into a bird. So he gets defeated. Give him one more headbutt. And then he starts to explode. And then you get another piece of vitality as your reward. Then you move on to the next part of this stage. Yeah, this first stage is split into two parts. Yeah, right now your only weapon is breathing fire. 
but you do get upgrades later on. And who should show up but your second boss. I've watched your progress, and I'm glad that I shall be the one to put an end to your petty crusade. I believe you have heard of me. I am Arma. I will be your executioner. Yeah, right. Well, come on, bird brain, bring it. I do have to say, fighting this boss can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, especially if you're not careful to avoid his hits. That's pretty much the name of the game. You just gotta survive, get a few hits here and there, and eventually you defeat him. You do seem to possess the strength people have been talking about. I look forward to our next encounter. Yeah, go on, beat it. So remember I was talking to you about the upgrades. One of these is one of the crests. It says you have found the crest of Earth. With it, you can morph into G Gargoyle and gain great speed and the strength to break stone statues. Yeah, awesome. G Gargoyle. Is that what they are, Gargoyles? Is it like the TV show Gargoyles? So anyways, you move on to the second stage, which is this right here. And then around here, you get to pretty much go around headbutt windows and pretty much take money or whatever else falls out of there. So whenever you've had your fill of busting windows and taking money, you can just walk, you can just fly on or walk on over to this next part. This next part is pretty much the point of no return here. So the second part of this particular stage. You're going over this broken bridge filling with water and pretty much that's just it. You're avoiding the ghosts, fire breathing statues and whatever the fuck those things are that are coming out of the water. Okay, wow, I really did not want to go here. I wasn't ready yet. Okay, here I am again. Let's try this again. Come on. Oh, oh, damn it. You fuck. Damn, ghost. Disappear or something. Thank you. Okay, this is where I was trying to go earlier. So, in case you're wondering what happened, um, go on the other screen. Of course I died. Because I simply just was not ready for that yet. But anyways, this is where I wanted to go. This was the third part of the stage, which is an underground cave. I do have to admit though, graphics look really nice for this time. The second area, this is a little bit tricky if you're not careful. This one is the object of the game. Keep the torches lit as much as possible. If you don't, a bunch of bats awaken and they just suck the vitality right out of you. And by the way, it's not the candles going out, it's that stupid ghost right there, that flame-eaten asshole. Yeah, I call him an asshole. I do have to point something out though. That ghost that we saw... He actually looks uh, kind of reminiscent of that green ghost that eats everything in Ghostbusters. Actually, if John right, he could also look like Fatso from Casper. Alright, now you're on your next boss. Which is a whole bunch of eyes and one of them looks like a jellyfish. I'm serious, doesn't that look like a jellyfish to you? It looks like a jellyfish to me. Yep, don't get caught in the ooze. Cause that's how I just died. So when you die, a screen pops up and then you have the option to call it quits, select a stage, or retry. 
Me? I'm a glutton for punishment. I'm gonna retry. Most of the boss fights in the game, um, anytime you die, or not even just the boss fights, anytime you die in general, you end up starting from the beginning of the sub area that you were just in. But in this case, because the boss fight is in its own sub area, you just start directly from the boss fight. Alright, come on, bring it. Bring it, I'm still standing, come on! Come on! <laughs> I always like that, it's hilarious. So you just destroy all the baby eyes and then the big eye just looks at the screen for a minute and goes like, well shit, I gotta go up there myself. Yep, yeah, sucks to be you right now, don't it? Yeah, finally! Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you see yourself in that ooze. Like I said, defeat a boss, get an upgrade. You got the piece of fire crust called Buster. With it, you can break through stone. Nice. I like that. That is a good upgrade to have. And see these clay pots right here? You couldn't destroy them before. Not with the uh, regular fire, but now you've got Buster. Yeah, buddy. It is true with the ground gargoyle. I could have just ran him over too, but yeah. So you break all these right here. Crap. Break. Thank you. Headbutt this door. And you walk in, it goes right into a shop. Yep, no joke, it's a potion shop. It says, welcome to the Black Lotus. We carry only the finest potions. Which one would you like? Let's see. I always end up buying the ginseng. Yeah, no joke. It's called a ginseng, excuse me. The ginseng, this potion restores all your vitality. Ginseng. Did they mean? Did they mean to say ginseng? Shouldn't be ginseng? As in the same stuff that they put in monsters? Is that what this demon drinks? He drinks monsters? Now in case you're wondering where ever to go, all you have to do is hit the start button on the overhead view. And you get to see each level that is marked on the map. Level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, all done in Roman numerals. In this case, we need to go to level 3. Which is this dead looking thing right here. Yeah, no joke. It looks dead. It looks dead as hell. It looks like a dead dragon or something. So anyways, they land here. And then the first thing you come across to is that Finskeg looking thing. Yeah, no joke. It looks like Finskeg and Centipede had a baby. Next boss you fight. Yep, this haunted flame crap. So that's the first part of the boss. The second part, he just turns into a flaming skeleton. Yeah! Got him! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Fuck off, you flaming skeletor. Flaming three-headed skeletor, to be exact. And look, we got another upgrade. You got the piece of the fire crest called Tornado. With it, you can jump higher than before. Oh, that's nice. 
So we would think that this tornado thing is going to throw you up in the air, right? Let's test it out. Alright, off to level 4, which looks like the three towers. Not to be confused with the Lord of the Rings book, The Two Towers. No, this is Three Towers. Bit by a stone snake. Yeah, that's right. It looks, that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like a stone snake. Just comes out of the wall and st sticks its tongue out of you? Really? It sticks its tongue out of you. Yeah, I guess it just comes out of the wall and sticks its tongue out of you. You know, that's disappointing. What kind of demon gets hurt by a snake sticking its tongue out of him? <laughs> I love these pillars. They're hilarious. All they do is just come out of the floor and the ceiling and with the big old shit-eating grin on their faces. As if to say, <laughs> you won't die. Still love it though. The next area you come to is just an area kind of floating in the sky and then again in the wind. Definitely great work putting this particular area together by Capcom though. Absolutely amazing graphic work. Oh look! It's that statue again. Let's kick his ass! Oh, and this time he's gold, huh? Yeah. Who does he think he is? Gold member? Has he got the Midas Touch or something? Even his feathers are gold. This is where that tornado comes in handy. This will help you just get through this one part alone. Alright. Remember all that ginseng I bought? You're gonna need every last bit of that. Just for this one fight alone. Oh look, it's Arma. Only this time he's green? Yeah, I don't recall him being green. Anyways. Nice to see you again, Firebrand. There shall be no mercy for you this time. Wanna bet? It can happen one of two ways, Slick. Got him! <laughs> Got him! Can it be? My whirlwind move has been defeated? What are you? Goodbye for now, Firebrand. Yeah, go on, get. Drop me another one of those crests. Oh, you did. Thank you. Hell yeah, I'll take it. You have found the crest of air. With it, you can morph into a gargoyle. Yeah, no joke. Real creative, huh? That's what it's called. It's called a gargoyle. You can soar higher into the air with it. Yep. That's exactly what it's designed for. You can soar much higher into the air with it. Now, this pain in the ass. Let me tell you, he's hard as shit. But this is pretty much a long ass dragonfly. Fly in front, dragon behind. Okay, make a liar out of me, why don't you? But no, no bullshit. He's he's normally a pain in the ass. Since so you got the piece of fire crest called claw. With it you can climb up walls. Yay, great! I like that. It's very helpful. Alright, on to level five.
Yeah, you better back up. Yeah! Got him! Finally killed that nasty piece of shit. And herein lies the water crust. You have found the crust of water. With it, you can morph into the tea gargoyle and swim beneath the oceans. Woo! I like it. I like it a lot. Level six. This is probably the stuff that just ugh, irritates my ever-living soul. All right, coming to this one and only blue sub area of the game, and it's all ice. Or, not the game, but the area. Yeah, this particular level, it's just all cold all the way around. Outside is just snow. Inside is just ice. Sucks either way. Okay. Remember me telling you the dragonfly was a pain in the ass and how in level 4 I made him look easy? Well this one is even worse! And no, I can't make this guy look easy. I've tried several times. I never get him on the first time. Come on, bitch. Ah, damn it. Ugh, you fucker. See? Like I said, pain in the ass. Alright, you know, I fucked up with this guy, so I have to go get more friggin' Jensen. Be back in a minute. Alright, we're back. Time to do this for real this time. I'm gonna put an end to this bullshit. Okay, he's starting to turn red. I can do it. Yeah, I got him! Finally killed that punk ass bitch. Now you're on to the next part of the sub level, which really is just, again, the same thing as in level 2. Light up the torches. Otherwise, the bats eat you. Only this time, there are actually more torches, more bats, and a little bit more of a pain in the ass to get around. Oh, he's not green anymore. Huh. This is our final e meeting. I almost had an encounter. Wow. I can read, I promise. You shall go no further. You know, wouldn't that be funny if he was dressed like Gandalf and said, You shall not pass! I think it'd be funny as hell. I would destroy you or die trying. Yeah, well, you're more than likely to die trying, so... Yeah, touch it. Yeah, got him! You do possess incredible power, Firebrand. My power is now yours. Let me seal it within this crest. Yeah, buddy. And then from there... You get the Crest of Time. And with it, you can morph into the legendary gargoyle and your skin shall become like iron and decrease damage done to you by half. Yeah, now that is awesome. All right, now you had seen me make this turn by accident before. And off camera, you saw me. And off camera, I pretty much got my ass kicked. I ended up telling you about it. That's how bad that ended. Well, here's why. You have these guys throwing skulls at you. Which is not bad now, but try doing that earlier and they would have owned you, literally.
Yep, that's it to destroying him and it brings you another vitality. Nice. All right, onto the stage for real this time. All right, so. First mini boss. Oh, this is a real gold member bird this time. Yeah, no joke, he's even armored in gold. This bird really likes his gold. Oh, except for the wings. Except for the feathers, they're silver. Interesting. Alright, now you move on to the next part of the stage. Alright, on to the next part. The next mini boss is nothing more than a goofy looking lion who breathes dirt in your face. Took him out in three hits right there. All right, get an extra vitality. All right, and now we're back to facing this guy. Let's see what he says this time. Now we're actually doing this properly. Oh, he don't say shit, huh? Okay, you know what, it's cool. It's cool, you don't wanna talk, he just wants to, he just wants to fight, I get it. That's cool, whatever, bro. Alright, well bring it on then! Come on, I ain't scared! Oh great, he attacks with balls. Blue balls, no less. Oh, now what's he saying? Now he's all red and shit. This ought to be interesting. I thought you might have the power to defeat General Arma. But you do not have nearly enough to, de to defeat me! The Great Phalanx! The Crest... The Crest of... Heaven! Oh yeah? We'll see about that. Hmm? Bring it. Come on! Oh! Oh, I see. Thinks he's all clever. Now! Feel the wrath of heaven! Well, I'm pretty sure both characters are demons, so they're both feeling the wrath. Ugh. Attacked by water. That was fast. My power is fading. But you shall not have the satisfaction of killing me. So at the end of this fight, he just throws up a blue red ball and then just runs away like a scared little girl. You get this cutscene right here after all of that is said and done. Facing certain death at the hands of Firebrand. Phalanx sealed himself into the crest of heaven. Forever. Avenged. Firebrand hid all of the crests. Maybe one day, someone will find the crests. Again. And prove themselves worthy.
to meet him in battle. Leaving themselves open to a sequel that actually never happened. It's a true story. And on that day, victory shall once again be his. Excuse me, I gotta stretch a minute. The long crest of heaven drops deep into the mountains. You get this little image of the crest of heaven with snow around it. And who should show their face? But that asshole. Yeah, what's so funny, Hornhead? You're the one inside a crust. And then there you go. You got the end screen. Well, that's pretty much Demon's Crest in a nutshell. A great fun game. Again, there's three different endings. There's this one, which is the normal ending that you just saw. There is a good ending and a bad ending. I'm not even trying to do one of those. I'm just trying to give you the glimpse of the game. Um, but if you want to do that, there's passwords online that you can look up and I'll take you directly to those points where you can fight Phalanx and get both those endings. But that's Demon's Crest in a nutshell. Happy Halloween. I will see you next time.